Bosh. What it is, my babies. My name's Theo, and welcome to the uh, post Crimbo Limbo. Climbo. Hope we all had an alright one, given the circumstances. Hope we all had as merry a one as possible, in accordance with current government guidelines. I kept it pretty chill, didn't go too hard. Treated myself to some reds, are they good? I wasn't gonna go in on these, but we love a Megatron, don't we? Might frick about and do something monthly with that. And you know we can't resist a sound wave, so this is gonna go towards something a little more long form. Mmm, what could he mean? We're gonna do a big sound wave video eventually. Like, can you imagine being me and doing what I do and not making a big sound wave video? Who am I? Stick it on the leader base. Hey, what are we doing then? I've got some boxes for you, if you don't mind. I did have an unexpectedly massive delivery from the PO box. A large box filled with other boxes. <laughs> I was only expecting one. So what do you reckon? Should we chew through some of this one last time for 2020? See this bitch off? So we'll keep it pretty chill today, I reckon. But I must let you know, one of these is from our mates at Zavi. So I am at some point going to have to shift gears into influencer mode. Sorry in advance. Let's get into this. God damn. Missed you. Three, four, five things. None of these are screaming, Zavi, but this one is the most uh, brand adjacent. Oh, I uh, grabbed me a Nintendo Switch as well, thought I'd treat myself. Fully four years after release. Bit of Hades on the go, bit of Pokemon Sword. Getting on the old uh, Animal Crossing at long last. Ridiculous, man. All my mates have got these incredible islands with like 500 hours of work in them. And I'm just like, I built a stick. I just, I needed a change. You know, the PS4 was no longer sparking joy. I needed a new pastime activity. Transformers are no longer a pastime activity over here. Shut up, few. <laughs> yes, all right, success. Yes, darling, here we go. Oh, straight from Zavi, we have friggin' brand new Back to the Future crossover Gigawatt. God damn, look at that, baby. The friggin' old school packaging, man. <laughs> Got the old uh, four-step illustrations there. God, straight to the bone, baby. Straight to my rose-tinted heart. Tech specs. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. You don't even need this. You can just see it. <laughs> it's fun to take part, okay? That's not canon, is it? Bringing book to foot to. You're never out of time when you're a time machine. I, I, feel, I do feel a couple of ways about the whole crossovers thing. Like, they've just revealed the X-Men one. They've got the Top Gun one and everything and the Ghostbusters. And I get it, you know. Movie machines, we love it. I just don't know if it feels a little bit sort of ready player one, you know, a little bit broad. Oh, shut me up. That is perfect. I opened the door on my 1985 DMC DeLorean, which was modified to exactly resemble the vehicle from Back to the Future, directed by Robert Zemeckis. I slid into the driver's seat and hit play on The Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News, which was used to great effect in the movie Back to the Future 1985, directed by Robert Zemeckis. Naturally, I knew every word of the lyrics. I caught my own eye in the rear view mirror and I thought to myself, yes, I have seen films. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, Zavi. <laughs> there it is. Oh, good God. Ah, oh, can't help but catch myself for all my hubris. That is having the desired effect. It does cut deep. It does get me. Oh, it do be hitting. <laughs> that is De glorious. Ba -ba, ba -ba. What's the Back to the Future theme? Ba -da -da -da, da -da 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 no, that's Lord of the Rings. Ba -ba -la -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -la -ba -ba -ba. That's the one. Oh, it's got the license plate. There you go. Out of time. That's what it actually said. Uh, no DeLorean DMC branding. That's a little weird. Yeah, who cares? Does it do the? Oh, come on, it must do. Oh, <laughs> there they are. Yes, mate. Friggin' gullwing doors. Da, 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 da. It does just look like a spaceship, doesn't it? Ah, there it is. Oh! <laughs> he don't even need roads. Ah, they got me. <laughs> I was so ready to just sneer it off, man. Just sit the whole thing out. Don't even bother. Ghostbusters, pfft. who needs it? This guy does, apparently. And we got the old uh, stick thing. There it goes. Gotta catch that bolt. You know what? Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> Of course I'm into it. Friggin' deluxe class Back to the Future thing. All right, let's let's uh, let's do a robot thing. This is based off the old um, Siege Sidewipe. Sidewipe? Side swipe. Isn't it, mate? Insider knowledge? Mm. Scarcely. So, yes, influencer details. This has come from our good mates at Zavi. You have links down here to pick one up if you fancy it. Click on down there and hook yourself up. 
Go on, go on. Sort yourself out, mate. Yeah, we got this. There he goes. Or does he? How does this? That panel ain't going. Probably shouldn't brute force it, I wouldn't think. Not during a paid promotion. Paid to the tune of precisely one gigawatt. <laughs> Is it gigawatt or gigawatt? Because you say gigabyte, but like with those dinosaur guys, I was always like giga power. Might have just been because it sounds cool. Flip back the wheels and clip them in. Come on, you. Right, there it goes, there it goes. We have one timey lad. Gosh, he is broad chested. My word. Oh, mate, he's got the little time circuits. Look at that. 2015. Oh, a simpler time. A less horrible future. Love the bright blue roundy goggles. It's all a bit. It's very IDW, isn't it? Looks a bit like Rung. He's got himself a little gun there, obviously. Transformers love their guns. It's always war this, siege that. God, chill out, lads. We all looking forward to Earthrise on Netflix. I have a... Uh tempered expectations. What do we suppose that is? Like a like a clock? Yeah, that goes there. That's the old uh, junk processor, isn't it? That goes on the car. I thought it was a wristwatch. And it is now. There we I have I have decided that that is a wristwatch now. And also a lightning fishing rod. There we go. Ah, he's tooled up. Yeah, that's actually really beguiling. <laughs> I'm into it. I am into it. Yeah, we've seen a million of this kind of guy on Teespring and that, haven't we, for years? What if there was this one and the Dukes of Hazard one and the James Bond one and they all combined into Voltron with the A-Team van? It's that, the toy line. That's where we're at. All right, let's pair this lad up with his uh, biological father, the old uh, George McFly of the situation. This is Transformers Siege Sideswipe from 2018? Clearly very similar, but a whole other vibe on the go. Are we saying retool? Shared engineering? Are we still saying that? Whatever you gotta do to make it happen, man. I love it. So, gang, if you would like, we have a direct uh, engagement tracking link down here for the old uh, Zavi page. Let the people know where you heard about it. God, I'm so glad they darkened that windscreen. <laughs> really does take the edge off all that junk back there. <laughs> they have done all right. I don't contractually have to recommend it. I didn't sign anything, but uh, it do be hitting. The car mode is friggin' irresistible. I would say that is a hoot. The lad's done good. Should we pick up the instructions as well? Might as well. Hey mate, I can't believe it. We got instruction booklet with all artwork on it in there. The old uh, three simple colors, black, white, and other. We love a tasty zapper blue over here, mate. Do I need to explain what Zavi is? Because I did that cup video and you're all like, hey, I can't believe you're accepting stolen merchandise from the factory. Do you think so little of me? We fall around, we have fun, we keep it light. Do you think I don't do due diligence? Do you think I don't perform few diligence? Zavi is a legit retailer in partnership with Hasbro UK. They can get stuff early. It's not that weird. This isn't even early. This is out now. Uh, I can't believe you're getting stolen toys, mate. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Very good indeed. To the future. Anyway, that's the end of the SpawnCon segment. Please do uh, leave a like and subscribe and support me on Patreon and make sure to click that link for Zavi so I get a little kickback. Heading into 2021 with mad influencer energy. Uh, anyway. Here's an ad break. All right, are we uh, appropriately sickened by my antics? We're getting there. All right, we have a relatively unmarked box here from uh, somewhere, I would imagine. Let's just, come on. Oh. And I oop. Ask and you shall receive. It's Mr. Gabato again. I can't believe this, mate. How do you? This was the lad who sent us um, hybrid style black convoy and the world's smallest Dinobots and a little bit of whiskey to wash it down. Just watched your damn it open charity wrap up vid. Congrats on the 60K subs. Did I mention that? 60,000. Damn, it's been a year for growth. If nothing else, we have seen some expansion. Was not sure if that was relief or disappointment when you opened Movie Megatron and thought it was MP5. Either way, I thought I'd offload, generously donate the one taking up space in my collection and let you enjoy all the flaws of the figure yourself. Oh, he's done it. He's gone and done it. MP5, masterpiece. Original Megatron, legendary bag of rubbish. Should we have a look? Come on. Maybe we'll get round to a monthly Megatron that isn't from this year. My oh my. God, he's like a Frankenstein. Ooh, ooh, careful. Oh, the classic. Was this the first time that a Megatron came with one of these? Because it certainly hasn't stopped since. Cheeky uh, ponytail lightsaber. The friggin' Optimus Prime murder gun. Fall, fall. Traumatized. Uh, a little bit of Kremzeek. Does anyone like Kremzeek, honestly? If we're being real, I'll be getting a brief word from the Kremzeek stands on that one. Sorry, I don't care about Kremzeek. Oh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, mm, uh, uh, um, uh, 
Thank you. Oh, I already. The dread, the dread. It's hitting. It's hitting, baby. We, we, oh, oh, God. That is not a pleasant vibe. <laughs> Remember colours? Thank you, Mr. Gaboto. That's very generous. And I'm very scared of it. We'll figure him out later. Mail call! Let's do a letter. Oh no, it's from Matty Burns. I have a feeling. I have a feeling! Ah! <laughs> tentacle, tentacle. That is. Oh my Jesus Christ. Is that how you see me? <laughs> oh, whatever, man. That's wonderful. That is your masterpiece. Matty Burns with the tentacle content. Tentacle, tentacle. Ugh. Oh. All right, that's that one. <laughs> right, a little one here from uh, a certain Eric Valentine from uh, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn today is not the Brooklyn I grew up fearing. As an uh, adolescent Biohazard fan, I certainly had an image of the spot as being just macho hell, just a giant murder gym. And now it's all like, oh, I got my foamy latte. Got my thoi mocha. Bring in Evan Seinfeld doing mumble rap. My world's crumbling around me. So, Mr. Valentine, looks like we have a book or two. Oh yes, honey, the new warriors. Uh, who, 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 who is these? 2008, wow, okay. Not that new. <laughs> who is this clown? <laughs> uh, the story's called Thrashed. Sure, 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 sure. Another title called, uh, oh, Stephen King? The Stand? This is the one about the slugs, isn't it? They're all about something, aren't they? Who knows, mate? I don't know, we'll have a look at that. Issue five of five. What a great place to start. And we have, oh, Siege Spinister. Ow, oh, the lad, the absolute lad. The Absolad. Wonderful figure, we adore Spinister. The Bi Icon himself, Bicon. A lot of people gave me stick for not saying Bicon in the review. It is too easy, it was too easy. Sometimes when I don't do something, it's not a mistake, okay? I'm a pro at this, all right? Uh, what do we do with this? How about, uh, I smell a giveaway. Ha! Yeah! So if you would like a little bit of Siege Spinister, take a little spin on this, sister, please do drop me an email at fewgiveaways at gmail.com. We'll go until, what is it now? The, uh, we'll go until the 5th of January. So we'll close at midnight at the end of the 5th of January. One word in the subject line, spin, and in the body also just spin. So spin, spin, fewgiveaways at gmail.com before the end of the 5th of January. This boy could be yours. We'll pick a winner, courtesy of Mr. Eric Valentine, who I assume also enjoys comics. Or are these just packing material? I don't know, we've got like five random issues out of five different arcs. Is this an old one or is it a reprint? Is this a legit... 1980? What the hell, bro? This is like vintage. Oh, it was a simpler time when men were men and women were bunny girls. Wow, that's actually quite cool. Yes, Mr. Valentine, thank you very much, Eric. That's quite a cute little package. And the contents of the box weren't bad either. God, I'm very high energy today, sorry. <laughs> How can you stand me? Jesus Christ, who watches this? <laughs> Okay, one more. This is uh, pretty big. Bigger than we're accustomed to these days. It's come from uh, Mr. Sean Platt over in Deltona, Florida. Quite large, quite heavy. Same. Don't you love how we drift from wild overconfidence to self-body shaming constantly? Where is my mind at? All right, dear Sir Fuman. I hope this letter finds you in good health. Uh, spoilers. Okay, it smells good somehow. Oh, there we go. What's this? Dude. <laughs> Is this, is this what it is now? Am I the beans guy? <laughs> Can't say I didn't ask for it. God, that'll last me a week. Okay, thank you for the large quantity of beans. Come on. And we have a uh, filthy green strong arm, uh, like cup. I'm not gonna, I, I don't wanna try and transform that. I'll ruin it. Think you might have beat me to it though. Who this? We have a, a little tablet man with some cute markings on it. Are those Cybertronics? Titans Return laser beak, I wanna say, or ugh hairs on it. Dude, come on! <laughs> Oh, it's Ravage. There he is. So like a shattered glass Ravage? He's blue, right? Yeah, okay. All right, that's kind of cute, right? It's a little uh, little sapphire Ravage. Little Raphire. Weird toy. Weird toy. But not looking too bad. Thank you, mate. Oh, my. Uh, oh, it's, um, oh, jeez. Skytread, but colored like Battle Trap. Oh, this, this paint ain't the one, mate. I'm going to attempt to transform it. I anticipate much flakage. Oh, it's like locked up. Yeah, all right, all right. That makes more sense in a... Uh, trousers mode. Little uh, stone wash on the go. Is that Optimus Prime's gun? I'm sure it is. He's uh, missing some wings. Hey, Battle Trap doesn't have wings, okay? <laughs> God. 
I don't know if this is the paint for it, mate. Ah, you know what? That's not too bad. That's kind of cool. Kind of works as a sort of proof of concept. Cheeky Decepticon drone man. Yeah, why not, right? I'm vibing. I get it. I I, I accept the energy. Why not, eh? It's kind of what we do. Weird stuff. Where else are you going to see this? Welcome to the channel. And I reckon we'll wrap up there, I think. So, yes, nice one to uh, Matty Burns for the ridiculous picture. Bring in uh, Sean. Mr. Gabotto. Goddamn Megatron. Eric for Spinister and those comics. And not to forget the good folks at Xavi. Always appreciate the opportunity. So, uh, keep it crisp out there for me. Just, you you know, keep your wits about you. Everything's gonna be okay. We'll get through it, all right? The light is coming. And put them up, if you will, for the future. In the God, I love how that's kind of just devolved into me honking the Power Rangers theme. But yes, thank you for watching. Big love to everyone who's joined us on the channel this year. We are Legion. We are approaching Legion. And of course, a huge heartfelt thank you to brand new patron, Mr. William White, a hero of our time. In a bit, baby. Be sure to subscribe for more Hughes Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.